Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about serve plus one. That's where we hit the serve and then end the rally on the next stroke. And I want to show you the footwork and technique that's necessary to end the point with that next stroke, and then a great drill where you can practice this and add it to your game. Now, when we hit a great and forceful serve, then often we get a kind of weak reply. But a lot of players are either slow reacting to that weak, short reply, or when they get there, they play carefully because they're afraid of overhitting. Because it's very easy when you have the momentum of the serve and then you run forwards to, hit, to overhit the next ball and send the ball long. Many players also that I see will hit the good serve and then get the short weak reply and come in and actually slice that ball instead of driving it and trying to put it away. They have to rely on their volley and then overhead rather than ending the point immediately as we see so often on television. Now to avoid overhitting, it's important that your weight is moving forwards when you make contact with the ball. You're not level with it, putting a leg drive and adding distance, but you're actually leaning forward. Let me show you what I mean. If I got to the ball in a lot of time and I'm in this position here, then I'm in a great position to drive the ball long and send the ball out of the court. So we need a wide neutral stance with the weight heavily into the left foot. So I'm in this position here instead of this position here. This neutral stance means that my legs are kind of isolated. My weight is on the front foot and I pull up instead of pushing through. When we play off this stance, then all we have to worry about is getting the ball over the net because it's very unlikely to go long. And then you can start to play with freedom and aggression because you don't have the concern of hitting the ball long. You just have to make sure that the ball goes over the net. Now, a great way to practice this is for you to hit the serve and immediately that the ball passes the net, have another player or a friend or a practice partner spin the ball in front of you so that it's going backwards towards the net. This is a much more difficult ball than you would get from a blocked return. And so it's great practice because it's easier in a match. And also it really encourages the wide neutral stance with your weight naturally on the left foot. Because as the ball pulls away from you, you'll have to lean forwards into that front foot. So the feed is something like this. We'll have the player serve and then I'll spin the ball in the air and make the ball spin back towards the net. See, I come underneath it and it comes back towards the net. In the video here we have Kira, she's just 10 years old and she's gonna hit the serve and then chase down the backspin feed that I play for her. Her only concern then is to miss the net because with the natural footwork position that she's in, with a neutral stance, a wide position, with her weight having to lean forwards to chase the spinning ball, as long as she clears the net, it will not go long. So she just has to pick down the line, cross court and miss the net. Once you practice this a few times off these feeds, it's kind of natural for it to move into your normal game because the mind's amazing at making these connections. When it's successful and something works, then the mind's really fantastic at saying, this is the way we're gonna go. So it'll be a natural progression from that practice court into an actual match and into a game. Try this drill and let me know how it goes. It really is a great way of getting serve plus one into your game. And serve plus one makes an enormous difference. Remember, if you get one or two free points in a service game, you're gonna hold serve almost every single time. If you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. We provide detailed scientific breakdown of the strokes, the biomechanics, the physics, the anatomy, and then with great illustrations, really simple solutions such as these that'll help take your game to the next level. And if you're serious about change, maybe I can help you on a one-to-one -one basis. We're helping players in over 30 countries all over the world of all ages, all levels, with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one coaching. We meet people online, find out their problems, and then give them personalized solutions. For more information on this, have a look at the website or email me for details. So add serve plus one to your game. Remember, just taking one or two points with the serve and serve plus one on your service games means that you'll hold serve almost every single time. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.